Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing pie chart data interpretation. I am continuing pie chart data interpretation. First of all, we need to read the information carefully. After that, we need to solve the questions accordingly. Right? So, first, uh, read the information carefully, which is given in the pie chart. First one. Pie chart one gives the percentage of students in each branch of engineering college. Here first pie chart is showing that here we have several branches computer science, civil, electrical, mechanical and uh, electronics. These are the five branches we have. In these five branches uh, percentage of students uh, whatever the total value. Here total value is not given. Suppose for example total is equal to for example total is equal to 1000. Among these 1000 students uh, percentage wise distribution of uh, each and every branch is given. Computer science is 20 percentage, civil 25, electrical 30 percentage, mechanical 10 percentage and electronics uh, 15 percentage. This is the percentage of uh, each branch, percentage of students in each branch whatever the number of students irrespective of the number of students uh, but in this case uh, total number of students are not given right and uh, coming to second pie chart uh, read this uh, second line carefully here pie chart 2 gives the percentage distribution of students based on the city they come from here second pie chart is uh, showing that uh, from which city they are coming from Second pie chart is showing that from which city they are coming from and uh, the two here uh, we have only Delhi, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Chennai and Bangalore. Here the students who are uh, joining in this, uh, in this particular engineering college, uh, all those students are come from these five cities, uh, Delhi, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Chennai and Bangalore and remember in this case also total number of students are not given but if you identify the relationship between pie chart 1 and pie chart 2 total number of students will not change for both the pie charts for both the pie charts total number of students are same because the reason is this is the engineering college engineering college total engineering college total in this engineering college uh, Total is uh, divided into five categories of branches. Five categories of branches. And uh, in this engineering college, five categories of uh, the uh, five categories of cities. Uh, Delhi, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Chennai and Bangalore. It means if you observe carefully, this entire engineering total is from branches and cities total value is same there is no uh, change in total total value is same this is one point that you have to be very much uh, clear about this pie chart uh, once you understand this one it is very easy to solve the problems uh, now this is a given information based on that we need to solve the questions accordingly here the first one the number of students in mechanical the number of students in mechanical we don't know number of students in mechanical but we know that number of students in mechanical 10 percentage 10 percentage of total total we don't know right let us consider total is uh, t total is t and next uh, that particular value is what percent of uh, those from bangalore Bangalore is 25 percentage. Bangalore is uh, 25 percentage. Again, the 25 percentage from total only. So, how can we calculate this uh, number of students from mechanical divided by this is numerator value mechanical number of students from mechanical that value is uh, what percentage of number of students from Bangalore whenever you are calculating percentage in 200 percentage symbol that is common that is our required percentage that is our required percentage therefore required percentage is equal to mechanically is how much percentage 10 percentage 10 percentage of total divided by Bangalore is how much percentage 
25% of total. 25% of total. Into 100 percentage symbol that is common. Into 100 percentage symbol common. Here if you observe carefully, by 100, by 100. Into t, into t. Both are common in numerator as well as in denominator. Now you can cancel 25 4 times. 4 into 10, 40. Therefore, our required percentage, our required percentage is 40 percentage. That is our required percentage. 40 percentage is the right answer for this question. Option C is the right answer. Some people what they will think is uh, as the total number of students are not given, so directly they will keep the answer as cannot be determined. Cannot be determined is not your answer because even though total value is not given, that particular total is common for both pie chart 1 as well as pie chart 2. Because of that reason, you will get the answer definitely. Next one. Look at the second question. What is the ratio of number of students in computer science to those from Chennai? So, we need to calculate computer science and uh, Chennai. First, computer science. Computer science is 20 percentage. 20 percentage of total. Total value, let us take T, is to Chennai. Chennai is 30 percentage. 30 percentage of total value. Again, total value is same. T. So, here by 100 into T, by 100 into T common. And 0, 0 cancel. Therefore, our required ratio 2 is to 3. That is the required ratio. 2 is to 3. Option B is the right answer. Option B. Third question. Here, by what percentage by what percentage is the number of students in civil number of students in civil more than the number of students from delhi here civil value 25 percentage delhi value 18 percentage here civil is equal to 25 percentage and delhi is equal to 18 percentage right now we need to calculate civil is how much percentage more than the Delhi. So, whenever if you want to calculate percentage more than, percentage more than, it is nothing but the difference between those two divided by less value. Difference between those two divided by less value and in 200 percentage symbol that is common whenever you are calculating percentage. So, percentage more than is equal to difference between civil department students and those who are from Delhi divided by the less number of candidates uh, among those two. So, the required percentage more than percentage more than is equal to what is the difference between those two? 25 minus 18 divided by less value. Less value is obviously 18. It is very clear. Into 100 percentage. Now it is uh, difference between those two. 25 minus uh, 18. That is 7. 7 by 18 into 100 percentage. 7 by 18 into 100 percentage. Here you can cancel with two table. 2 nines are 250 times. Uh, therefore required percentage more than. Percentage more than. Is equal to 7 into 50. 350. 7 into 50, 350 divided by 9 percentage. That is equal to here it will not cancel with directly. So, you can take the mixed fraction. How many times? Uh, uh, 9 3 is 27. Still 8 is left over. 80. 80 means uh, 9 8 is 72. Still 8 is the remainder. 8 by 9. 38 8 by 9 percentage. 38, 8 by 9 percentage. That is the required answer for this question. Look at the options. Option A is the right answer. 38, 8 by 9 percentage. Next question. If the total number of students in the college 2600. Now total value is given. 2600. Here all together 
all together in the entire pie chart. Entire pie chart is 100 percentage. Entire pie chart is 100 percentage. 100 percentage is equal to 2600. So it is very clear that 1 percentage is equal to 2 zeros, 2 zeros cancel. 1 percentage is equal to 26. Total 100 percentage is equal to 2600. Then 1 percentage is equal to 26. Now the question is, then at most how many students in computer science are from Hyderabad? Here computer science, computer science value 20 percentage. 1 percentage is equal to 26. Then computer science 20 percentage is equal to 20 into 26 which is equal to 520. Total computer science department students are 520. Whereas coming to the city, we are talking about Hyderabad. Hyderabad city is consisting of 7 percentage. 1 percentage is equal to 26. Therefore, 7 percentage. 7 into 26. That is 140 plus 42, 182. Total number of students from Hyderabad. At most in the sense, in this case, this word is very important. At most. The meaning of at most is maximum. 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 How many students in computer science are from Hyderabad? Here, from Hyderabad, only 182 students are there. From Hyderabad, only 182 students are there. Whereas, computer science, 520 students are there. So, even though all 180, 182 students are opted to computer science, uh, maximum number of students uh, of taking computer science from Hyderabad, that is 182. It is not mandatory that uh, each and every uh, branch will be there in, the, in this particular city. It is not there, right? That particular condition is not there. So, here at most in the sense maximum number of students who are opting computer science department uh, from Hyderabad. Maximum number of students that is only 182. Why? Because uh, in Hyderabad we don't have more than 182. So our required answer is 182 is the right answer. Option D. Option D is the right answer for this question. Last question in this session. Had the number of students from Delhi been 25 more, here number of students from Delhi, we don't know exact number of students from Delhi, but in case number of students from Delhi are increases by, increases by 25, then the percentage of students from Delhi would be 20 percentage. Yet present, at present, uh, Delhi is equal to 18 percentage, right? Now, to this 18 percentage, to this 18 percentage, if I increase the number of students by 25, if I increase the number of students by 25, then this uh, Delhi percentage will be 20 percentage. That is the condition he is uh, uh, given in this question, second sentence. So, from this, uh, it is very clear that 18 percentage goes to right side. 20 percentage minus 18 percentage, which is equal to 25. 2 percentage is equal to 25. 2 percentage is equal to 25. What is the question he is asking? Find the total number of students in the college. Total number of students, which is always 100 percentage. 100 percentage is equal to what is the answer? Here, 2 percentage value, that is 25. In order to get 100 percentage, you need to multiply with what? 50. So, 2 into 50, 100 percentage. If you multiply here by 50, here also you should multiply with 50 only. 25 into 50, that is equal to 25, 5 is 125, 0 is there, 0. 1250. Therefore, 100 percentage value is equal to 1250. Total number of students in the college that is 
1250 option b is the right answer for this question option b guys i hope you understand each and every problem in this session and uh, thank you thanks for watching